Hi, I'm Johnny Martinez with RV Medic. Uh, been in the RV business some 41 years now in the service end of it. Uh, here we have an air conditioner that we're going to use uh, a, a new product out. It's called the Good Stuff and uh, it's a coil cleaner in a can. The procedure that we use is we first take the top cover off, then we expose the evaporator by taking that off. And if you can see the coil, how badly it's matted. When a coil is this bad, normally what we'll do is we'll end up brushing it clean first. We always like to do it with the coil dry, so if the unit's been wet, you allow it to dry out. We take basically a basic fine dog hair brush, we just rake across the coils to get the heavy sediment off of it. Normally they're not this dirty. Once we've taken the heavy material off, while this is up on the roof, I'll generally take a towel and plug the hole up so we don't get any residue inside the coach. Once they're this dirty, I'll take compressed air, an air hose, and I'll blow from the back side. You always do it from the back side. You don't blow it back into the coil. You blow it back outside. Get as much of it off as you can before you put coil cleaner on there. Then we just simply spray the coil cleaner on. But saturate that coil with the coil cleaner. It's actually softening the, uh, the dirt, the, uh, any of the sediment that's inside that coil in those fins. And it also, what I like about this product, it's got a nice orange smell to it. We let that sit, like I said, for a couple minutes. I work that brush up and down. I don't go crossways on it. I work it with the grain of the coil. So I'll use just a regular pump sprayer. And then I basically spray the coil down. Now once that has been done, then we apply the uh, good stuff coil protectant. This is uh, designed to uh, help seal the coil, make the, uh, the dust uh, not stick on the coil as much. And basically all we do is just give it a spray. And that's all that's needed. We allow this product to dry. Generally takes 10 minutes. Uh, by the time you get your covers back on and everything, turn the air conditioner on, uh, you're good to go. As, as long as with all metal, once you clean metal, it's good to coat it and seal it to inhibit any kind of rust or corrosion. And that's what we're doing here with this product right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm thoroughly satisfied with this product. Uh, we sell it in the store and I keep a couple cans in my service truck. 